Hello everyone, it's so good to see you. It's been a while. I missed ya. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it has been a month. It has been a hot, hot minute since I have vlogged, but I am here. It is currently 7.15 in the morning and I am waiting for my bus to go to Gwangju and I'm so excited. So I'm going to Gwangju today because there is a girl named Bryn who has a podcast and she invited me to be on her podcast and I'm so excited. I will link everything down below of how you can hear our podcast. I'm doing that today. I'm waiting for my bus. My bus is in for another like half hour, 45 minutes. So I'm here, have my hash brown, have my coffee. Also, I was sitting just like over there somewhere. It was a quiet place, so I'm like, I'm just gonna sit here, have my hash brown. This man kept talking to me, and I clearly did not want to talk to him. Like, I was giving that body language of like, stop talking to me. Oh, you American, what are you doing here? Why are you by yourself? Like, he was saying this all in Korean, and I could understand him, but I was, I kept saying like, oh, I don't speak Korean, <laughs> sorry, I don't speak Korean. And he was getting loud, and I just walked away and came here. That has been my morning so far. And I'm excited to go to Gwangju. I'm taking the bus for three hours, so let's go. Also, I'm going to the tea fields because that's a thing that I'm gonna do. I'm excited. We are at a pit stop. Oh my goodness, I had to pee for the past like hour. I was like, oh my god, I had so much iced coffee, I have to pee. What if he doesn't stop? And thankfully, we have a pit stop. I don't know how long this pit stop is, so I just went to the washroom. Now I'm gonna go back. I have about an hour and a half still until I hit Gwangju. Hello, I am in Gwangju with Bryn. And we just did our podcast. What did we talk about on our podcast? We talked about the differences between the US and Canada. Travel. And Korea and other countries. Diversity. Yeah, it was actually a really good conversation. So I will leave that link in the down bar below once it is live. So check it out. And now we are at New York Bread Company. We're having some pizza, cheese pizza and a salad with almonds on it. Yeah, that's the thing with Korea is you're going to get almonds on your pizza. And corn. But there's no corn oh. on here. No, there isn't. But I did get the um, school or pizza school. I love pizza school. <laughs> I got the cheese pizza because it was like the closest to North American pizza. And I bit into it and I was like, there's corn in here. All right. Are you not a corn person? I don't mind it. I kind of just ignored it. I love their quesadilla pizza. I don't remember the last time I had a quesadilla. Okay, at Pizza School, they have a quesadilla pizza and it's delicious. Maji seo. I have made it to the Dahan tea garden. Wow, that's beautiful. You can see some of the tea plantation right there. It took like an hour from Gwangju to get here and then I wanted to take the bus from the station in this city to here but that bus wasn't leaving for another hour and I think this closes in an hour so I had to take a taxi which wasn't bad. I have about an hour and a half to enjoy this beautiful place so let's go check out some green tea fields. Okay, this place is massive. I don't even know where to begin. There's just like so many fields of green tea over here. More green tea. It's infinite, I don't think it ends. But I'm gonna walk this way and see what I find. It's an adventure. I definitely lost my umbrella. I had it in my back pocket here, and then I must have jiggled a bit, and then it fell out somewhere. I'm not worried about it though. Someone can have it. But I hope it doesn't rain because I'm wearing white. You know when you're alone and you want to get like a solid Insta pic? My phone is resting on this signpost, and I'm setting the timer and getting some pics. <laughs> At least I'm trying to get some pics. At least it's not that busy, so that's good. All right, so let's try to let's try to do this now. I've set you up too. Okay, hold on. Let's get this. All right, here we go. Oh my god! It 
almost fell. <laughs> that would have sucked tumbling down that hill. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. Gotta work with what you got. Green tea ice cream. I'm so excited. It's so humid out. This is exactly what I needed. I did something terrible. Right now, I'm on the bus back to Guangzhou from the tea fields. I'm trying to get to the Busodong bus terminal and I have no idea where to go, what bus to take, how long the bus will take to get to me, I have no idea. A man approached me and he was like, do you, like in Korean, like, do you need a ride? I was like, actually I do. <laughs> I think the first rule that your parents tell you is to not get into a, a stranger's car, but what did I do? <laughs> I got into, sorry, you're dropping. I got into a stranger's car and I trusted him because A, it's small town Korea, and B, I, I felt like he would murder me or kidnap me. So yeah, I went into his car and at first I was a little hesitant, but I was fine. I'm fine. I don't recommend you ever doing that. <laughs> I think because I'm so tired that I'm like, yeah, yeah I can need a ride. Wow. Now I'm going to Gwangju and then going back to Busan tonight. Here we go, back on the bus. Hello and happy Sunday. I got an ice cream, but I ripped off the bottom. So I'm hoping that um, it doesn't melt on me. Hey, little kitty. I wanted to say that I have almost 2,000 subscribers on this vlogging channel, which is amazing. It blows my mind. I want to do another Q&A. So if you have questions for me, whether it's teaching and career related fashion, uh, life advice, leave it in the comments below. I'll gather up the questions and do a Q&A for you because my last Q&A was a lot of fun. I'll link it down below. I am going to um, figure out this ice cream right now. Oh, and I just had lunch too. I had bibimbap and kimbap, just the usual. It was delicious. <sighs> hey everyone. So I am not looking my best right now and I'm not feeling my best right now, but I wanted to turn on the camera to just explain what's been going on. <laughs> There's Korean men yelling right now. Anyway, just ignore the angry Adishi. The reason I haven't made a vlog in such a long time is because I've been going through a lot of loneliness and a lot of isolation. And I've talked about this in previous videos. I made the video the cure for loneliness on my Get Up and Go Girl channel because I forced myself to get up and do something creative and kind of have a creative outlet where I can just express myself and that was a video that has been getting a lot of positive feedback so I want to thank everyone who has watched that video, has left a comment, left a like and it just thank you for um, watching it. I haven't necessarily been feeling amazing lately. It happens. I'm human and uh, yeah, I've just been kind of going through it. I actually got an email from a girl who, uh, when I spoke during the Epic Orientation, um, I left my email and she emailed me recently and said that she feels alone and isolated and um, how I seem to be very positive and have a lot of friends and she wanted some advice of how she can kind of get herself out of her um, funk and kind of like make new friends and in my mind I was like girl I'm going through the exact same thing <laughs> but yeah I just told her that you know everyone goes through it I'm going through it and the best way is to just find activities that you like and meet friends there because you have a common interest it's hard you can't just go home for the weekend and hug your mom like that's not something that I can do here in Korea <laughs> obviously and yeah and ask anyone who's lived abroad for a long period of time it's not easy there are periods where you feel alone and isolated and I'm just I'm just going through that period and um, yeah I don't I don't want to leave Korea I don't want to quit I have a lot that I have in my life that's really positive and um, I just have to remind myself of that Anyway, I'm going to go grocery shopping because I am craving an entire watermelon and I'm going to devour an entire watermelon for dinner. If you feel the same way as I do and you feel alone and isolated, just know that you're not alone at all. Things change. You're not going to feel this way forever. This will make you into a stronger person. Yeah, my arm's hurting from holding this camera, so thank you for watching this long rant. Gotta go get a watermelon now. 
Okay, happy Thursday. Don't mind that I look like a hot mess, like a literal hot mess. I am sweating. I'm not even wearing a shirt because it's so hot outside. I just made dinner. I have um, I have this at least like once or twice a week and it's basically pasta and broccoli that I boil together and then I simmer some garlic, add some salt and pepper, and then some Parmesan cheese. And it's so good and it's super easy. So I'm gonna eat my dinner. Tomorrow is Friday and I'm going to go to work and then I have a soccer social that I'm going to. And usually we have um, some gyapsa and then we go and play Mario Kart, so I'm super excited. Also, I feel so much better today. Um, I feel like I go through phases of isolation and loneliness and that was just one of those phases and now I feel 99% better, so. Yay! I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I'm sorry that it has been delayed, but you can always follow me on my Instagram, which I always have instant updates, as well as my Twitter. All the links are down below. And thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!